Bang, bang, bang. I, I really like this idea. Not really good. Bad soap opera. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. This is so good. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Wee Wee Blogs review of the Armenian song, Don't Deny, by the supergroup Genealogy. I'm Pork, and I'm coming to you from Ireland, and today I'm joined by Francesca in America and Patrick in Austria. So we're going to get straight into it, and we'll start off with Francesca, who has a small bit of Armenian blood in her veins. What do you think of the song? Yeah, well, uh, seeing how the internet has kind of reacted, um, I actually like it a little bit. It's interesting. It's not the most Eurovision-y of songs. It has it has the cl the cheesy cliches. It has the cheesy metaphors. I was actually very afraid because these are all six very different artists with six different backgrounds, even though ethnically they're very similar. I was afraid they were not going to be cohesive. I was afraid that the song would just make no sense. But I was very surprised with how cohesive it was, especially in the music video. So. I am pleasantly surprised. Well, if you ask me, I'm not a big fan of it actually. Um, it's a good song. It could be a good. It could be amazing if there would be one or two singers for a loan. But in my opinion, it's just too much. There are too many voices, um, different voices. The styles doesn't. They don't match into the song sadly for me. Um, and yeah, it's a bit too much drama. It sounds like a musical for me, so it's not really Eurovision, -y, as you said. Um, but basically, it's a good song, but too much for me. I think the song is the song sounds nice, but maybe with just one person. I think there's nearly too many singers, or maybe a duet. Um, there's too many singers. They're all singing slightly different style, and I don't think it fits perfectly. I think, and I think there's one standout singer for me, and that's Inga from Inga and Anoush fame, but the rest are kind of, nearly if they'd just given it to her, I'd be happy. Okay, so the song itself is accompanied by a very expensive looking music video, and it all looks wonderful and lovely on YouTube, but how do you think it'll work on stage in Vienna, bearing in mind the stage in Vienna is quite small, there's no catwalk, so do you think will that hamper their performance at all? So I think with a little bit of good direction, you know, have six people, have the six people at different parts of the stage, you make it, you make everyone rotate like an introduction to a bad soap opera, you know, where they have everyone like, this is so-and-so, this is their drama. Um, I think you can make a stage seem as big as you want, provided they have good directing, they tell camera, do this, do that. Uh, I actually do have big fears about the staging because these are six relatively big personalities. This would be, you when we have six people acts, it's mostly a band or there's a chorus in the back of backup singers. I'm very concerned personally and the staging in many ways is 33% of the score, so pray, pray, pray for the staging of this act. <laughs> Yeah, I have the, those fears as well. Like, um, it's a little stage in Vienna, and there is no catwalk. There is just the circle, and I, I, I yeah, I have fears that the performance will be not really good. Um, I don't know how they will bring the video um, theme in onto the stage. So yeah, I think it 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 could be a great stage or a bad stage. I think there's nothing between it. Mm, it's almost like you'd feel it like a part of a song at the end of a musical where the musical is over and everyone comes together to sing the farewell song and they're all like flying their flags and on top and there's a big chorus behind them but obviously with the six people restriction they can't do that so maybe if they have some clever LED display or something behind them it right. might add a bit to it but then if we just go back briefly to the whole topic of the song it's been quite controversial but they've said that the main aim behind the song is to kind of reach out and celebrate the Armenian diaspora. And of course, Francesca, you've got a small bit of Armenian blood. How do you feel? Does this song connect to you in any way? I think it's such an interesting concept. Uh, I think there's very little doubt the Armenian diaspora, considering the size of the home country, is one of the biggest, one of the most diverse, especially where I am in California. I mean, you practically see an Armenian surname every day. It's not even funny. and. I thought this was a very this is a very interesting outreach because the Armenian community, the Armenian diaspora community looks so different in so many different parts of the world. And I, I for me, I, I really like this idea. I like it as an idea. I don't know how it will translate because this could either be great and it could show the diversity. Like uh, Tamar Tamar is from the US, right? Tamar is yeah. the one from the US. She has the one republic and I think that's something I really relate to. Uh, 
but hopefully it doesn't just become a let's make everything super diverse because we can because that would just be the ultimate mockery of this whole identity purpose. Yeah, I, I think it's a good concept that they bring all the people from the world together with the uh, Armenian diaspora. So that's a good thing, but I don't know how the how Europe would react about that, but actually it's good. It's a good thing. Okay, so then probably the most important question is they're in semi-final one. Can they qualify and reach the final with Don't Deny? I think I think Armenia will qualify. I think there is very little doubt about it. They have the Soviet bloc. They have a you know pretty good song. It, is it not alone? No. Is it boom boom? Never forget 2011. No. I think you know. It, ha it has that leverage. It just need it just needs a, go a good song and not terrible staging, and then it will do well. I think. Um, I think there is no chance that they won't qualify because, as Francesca said, there are so many Soviet countries in the semi-final. And as Francesca also said, it's not a bad song. It's it's a good song. It's not really outstanding, but it's a good song. So I can see it really qualifying to the final. About the final place, I'm really not sure. It could be badly or great. So I have no idea, but final for sure. I'd say you'd say that they should qualify, but ever since two thousand eleven they're not guaranteed qualifiers. So if they make a complete hot mess out of the staging and they're all vying to be I'm the star, I'm the star then you could have a bit of a mess. But I'd say tentatively they should be um, a guaranteed qualifier. Okay, so that's all we have time for at the moment. If you want to keep up to date with more of our Armenian news, make sure to check out webeblogs.com and check out all our social media at webeblogs. We're on Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, all of them. And our New York correspondent, Sopan, also caught up with one of the group members in New York, Tamar, and you can see that interview if you click here. Um, so until the next time, subscribe to Weebly Blogs, and we'll see you then. Bye!